Good morning. Ooh, that was really good. Try that again. Good morning. good morning. Okay, that's better. Today's scripture lesson is actually one of my favorites in the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Okay, awesome. I even got a yes, please. Ooh. So it is from the book of Romans, and it says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is a lot. What do you think it means? Nothing can separate us from God. (laughs) Well, let's, let's, yeah, that's it. But let's talk about that a little more. Let's say, what does that really mean? Well, for me, it means that God is always with us. That's what you said. I didn't hear you say that. You guys can speak louder. Yeah, nothing can separate us from God. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter how scary it is. God will always be with us. Always. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter what's happening right now or what happens in the future. God will always be with us. And he will always love us. Now, who likes that idea? Me. So, now, in church, in our, in our church, And all the other churches, we accept God's love and become part of God's family in one way through baptism. He's fine. He's fine. Just leave him. (laughs) And we do this through baptism. And guess what? We are having a baptism today. Yay! It is Henry's little brother, James, and he's right there. So, now, James Martin is... Oops, James Martin's parents are going to make promises to God today. And we as a church are going to also make promises. We are going to promise to love James. And we're going to promise to teach him about God. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys, can you promise that? Awesome. Well, you'll get to promise here again in just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. So I am going to ask you guys to come sit over on this pew so you guys get a front row seat. Yes. Okay. Well, at this time, I'd like to invite uh, the Martins, Andy and Karen, baby James, to come and gather around the font along with Deacon Julie Verdorn. Elder Melissa Monroe and Pastor Georgia. Well, friends, hear these words of Jesus from Matthew 28. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to command everything teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Obeying the word of our Lord Jesus and confident in his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. In baptism, God claims us, seals us to show that we belong to God. God frees us from sin and death, uniting us with Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, the body of Christ, and joined to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. So let us all remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament. On behalf of the session, I present James Martin, son of Karen and Andy Martin, to receive the sacrament of baptism. Karen and Andy, do you desire that James be baptized? 
relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to James? Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture James by word and deed with love and prayer? We do. Will you encourage him to know and follow Christ and to be a faithful member of his church? We will. Through the sacrament of baptism, we enter the covenant that God has established in Jesus Christ. Within this covenant, God gives us new life, strengthens us to resist evil, and nurtures us in love. Through this covenant, we choose who we will serve by turning from evil and turning to Jesus Christ. So Andy and Karen, I ask you these questions of faith. Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the way of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you? Who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Will you be Christ's faithful disciples, obeying his word and showing his love? I will, led by the Spirit. With the whole church, let us stand and affirm our faith together. In life and death, we belong to God. Through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, we trust in the one triune God, the Holy One of Israel, whom alone we worship and serve. The Spirit justifies us by grace through faith, sets us free to accept ourselves and to love God and neighbor, and binds us together with all believers in the one body of Christ, the Church. The same Spirit who inspired the prophets and apostles rules our faith and life in Christ through Scripture, engages us in the word proclaimed, claims us in the waters of baptism, feeds us with the bread of life and the cup of salvation, and calls women and men to all ministries of the church. With believers in every time and place, we rejoice that nothing in life or in death can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You may be seated. Let us pray. We give you thanks, eternal God, for you nourish and sustain all living things by the gift of water. We thank you for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death, and from it, we are raised to share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. Send your spirit to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. Pour out your spirit upon James, that he may come to know and share your love, and always trust your strong presence and sure guidance in his life. Help this church and community to be a good and Christ-like influence in his life, and he in ours, so that together we may be the body of Christ in the world. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, be all praise, honor, and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Come here, James. You want to look at the water? Do you want to look at the water? It's okay. Oh. Yeah, I'll step up here. There we go. Okay. Are you ready? James Stephen Martin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O oh Lord, uphold James by your Holy Spirit. Give him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, of counsel and might, of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. James Stephen Martin, child of the covenant, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. On behalf of the deacons, we want to welcome James into the church. 
Do you want it? James Martin, you have been received into the one church, the body of Christ, through baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you have become a member of the household of God to share with us in the ministry of Christ and the priesthood of all believers. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you into the body of Christ. Amen. <laughs> Let's sing together. <laughs> <laughs> 